Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by and welcome if you are new. I'm Molly and if you don't like these kind of videos, you do not have to watch them, but if you like unbaggings and unboxings of lovely makeup goodies, feel free to continue watching. And as always, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or issues with me, put them in the comment section down below because that's what it's for, for you to vent. I like to vent. So I encourage one and all to vent of any of their frustrations or problems or issues. I will listen to them. I'll try. And I'll try to respond to them. Yes, I will try. And I have to have my ring light angled in a different way than normal because otherwise you get this the whole video. And that's got to be real fucking distracting. I'm sorry. So it's like this and 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 like this. Okay, sorry. Just being a little weird. Okay. Um, so today's video is going to be my Ipsy unpacking. It's right here. It's right here. Yes. Yes. I forgot what I was getting. Totally forget what I was getting. But I know the bag's really cute. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the bag. And if you're not familiar with Ipsy, it is a subscription service. You pay $10 a month. You get five deluxe or sometimes full-size products for makeup-related things or skincare or hair care. It's lovely. You do reviews. You get points. And then you can get free perks along the way. For fun, which is cool. I got one thing outside my bag. I really, really dig the bag. There is the bag. It's a very nice feeling. I like the double layer look. It's very, um, makes me think millennium, like 2000, 2001, where they did a lot of like stuff like this, or am, am I going crazy? Do you guys remember what I'm talking about? Where everything was like holographic, crop top, holographic bags, and like, I can imagine this being a messenger bag or something. Anyway, I'll set that down because I'm going to do the thing that came outside the bag. Uh, we got our car that says Metropolis and things about videos. Okay, the item that came outside of my bag is the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. Full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer. And let's open it. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Uh, additional shades available. Light, medium, tan, and deep. Developed with plastic surgeons. This award-winning anti-aging concealer is highly pigmented, never creases or cracks, and truly covers everything. Woo! All right. It says it has hydrolyzed collagen, collagen, peptides, hydrolonic acid, and antioxidants. See the result. How do I get it out? Jeez. I got the shade medium. Here's the little tubey package. Let's open her up and see if it's my color. I already have makeup on, so I will not be putting this on me. Oh, if you see something new in this video, that would be my glasses, because they're new. And they're glasses, and I normally wear contacts 24-7. Okay. Let's see. Alright, got a teeny tiny little bit out. Let's see how she moves. She moves, she moves. Yeah, baby. Feels really nice on the skin, almost like I'm putting a lotion on. I'll definitely give this a try. Am I even showing you guys? Is that better? Very sorry if it was just like, oh, look, it's my face, and then that. Okay. Hello. Okay, that needs to be wiped off on something. Okay. We are going to move on to the next product. Now we're going to open the bag for the first time and see what the other four items are. So, the first item, Pacifica Blushious Coconut and Rose Infused, Coconut and Rose Infused Cheek Color. And it's got a unicorn on it. Cute packaging. Can you see the unicorn? I don't know if you can. Sorry if you can't. There's the product. It's very pretty. It's got a metallic sheen to it. And let's test her out on my hand. This would actually be really pretty as an eyeshadow. Like, really pretty. So, there is the blush. And it's got, like, it does have a sheen to it. It's, like, coppery, goldish, rusted shade. I don't hate it. I would definitely rather use this as an eyeshadow, though. Sure. Get things off of my hands. So, yeah, not disappointed. No smell. Whoa. Okay. Next item in the bag 
is Perlise Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask Exfoliant Gently Resurfaces, Detoxifies, Brightens, Tightens, and Smooths. 10 minute facial for all skin types, including sensitive skin. The color is, what does it smell like? I can't really smell anything but my makeup remover wipe that I have out, wiping everything off. But, let's see. Ooh, feels grainy. I like grainy. That means it's exfoliating things. Feels nice. Doesn't feel greasy or thick. Just like standard mud mask, I guess. Just the standard kind. Get that off of my skin now. Look, I have like, it's like mattified my whole hand. How odd. My hand does feel softer. So much softness. Okay, okay. So, the mask. The under eye concealer and the blush duo. Oh, well, I meant the blush stuff. So next item, I'm kind of excited to get this actually. It's the Temp 2 Smooth and Matte Primer Base. And I've gotten these Temp 2 things before. I've gotten a highlighter and I've gotten a bronzer. Um, the highlighter is decent. I kind of like it. And the bronzer is way too dark for me. But I've tried to use it as like an eyeshadow base to see if I can get it to pull off that way. And it didn't really do much. So I don't really use it. It's the same size as this one. The first one I ever got was half this size, that highlighter one. So I guess I will squirt some onto my hand. Then I will rub this out and see if it mattifies my hand. Feels nice as a primer. I don't think I've ever had one that was this liquidy for a primer. Feels almost like a face oil. Smells good. Is that what I smell? Maybe. This will be something I will definitely have to try out by putting all over my face. Like when I do my makeup tomorrow, I don't even know, if, can you see a difference between my two hands? This one, I did the primer. This one does not have primer. Can you tell? <laughs> Dab. Okay. It feels nice. It's soaked into my skin. It doesn't feel off or anything. I will be interested in trying that out tomorrow. So I don't think I've had a primer like that. I've had a spray primer, the silicone primers, I've had the powder primers. Um, that's it though. So, yeah. Last item. Is it the last item? It is. This one I'm excited to get. It's the Balm's Bahama Mama Bronzer. And it looks like mine is broken. Okay. The Bahama Mama is a cult classic when it comes to bronzers. As is like NARS Laguna Beach is a cult favorite bronzer. Or the Benefits Hula Bronzer is a cult favorite. These are staples that should be in everyone's makeup collection, not in mine. Oh, and like Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. So that is the bronzer on my hand. It is a nice, it does have a sheen to it, but as people say, if you're light handed with it, then you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. It is a golden undertone, but not orangey. And it is neutral enough that it could be on warm or cool tone skins because it doesn't have like a gray base or a red base. It's very neutral, it's very subtle, and it can pretty much work on any skin tone. That's the good thing about it, and that's why it's such a cult favorite. It literally can go on any skin tone. Definitely. And if not, you can just use it as eyeshadow and move on, right? Yeah. Okay. So we got the bronzer, the blush, the under eye concealer, the primer, and a mask. And I will have to say I am very happy with this month's bag. I even enjoy the way the bag looks. I think it's very cute, very pretty, very my style. So I dig it very much. So keeping head down, sorry about the ring light. There's the bag. Tell me what your favorite item was this month. I will have to say I'm most excited about the primer because I love primers and the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I've gotten one before from Ipsy and I even still have it and it's a little smaller than this one so I'm kind of stoked that this one's a little bit bigger because I wanted to use it and get it to last as long as I could because you know Bye Bye Under Eye is not a drugstore brand for It Cosmetics. It's a little pricey, but I hear it lasts forever, so it's worth the money. But I got another one, so we'll see. 
So yeah, that is my January bag for Ipsy. Uh, any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, put them in the comment section down below. If you want to stay connected with me, make sure you check out the description bar down below. I will have all my social media information listed so you can click and talk to me and add me and be my friend or not be my friend. It doesn't really matter. And as always, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!